Good morning and welcome to your Daily Sparks. You know, in the late winter of 1569, Dirk Willems found himself running from Dutch authorities. And uh, no one today could see his beliefs on baptism as being radical or threatening, but at the time they were considered heretical and illegal. So fleeing for his life, he came to a pond covered in thin ice. And after safely making his way across, he discovered that his pursuer was running behind him, ran out onto the pond and was not so fortunate. The ice cracked and the pursuer fell into the frozen water beneath. Well, Willems heard the officers cry for help and rather than run off and secure his freedom, he ran back and dragged the officer to shore. Well, the guard then seized him. The man he saved then seized Willem and escorted him to prison and soon afterwards authorities burned Willem at the stake. Willem took seriously Jesus' command to love those enemies, those who do, to do good to those who hate you. His actions in saving his pursuer certainly uh, defied what we might call logical reasoning. He should have taken off, we would say. Chances are you never have to make a life and death decision like Dirk Willems faced. But life still presents us with opportunities for us to live out those challenging words. People attack us. Maybe a driver cuts us off on the freeway. Uh, Maybe you find a paint scrape on your car when in a parking lot. You know, maybe a neighbour lets his dog bark outside your bedroom window all night. All sorts of ways that we are persecuted. But we, you know, maybe someone said, thinks we've said something or has accused us of something we haven't done. For all of this, for all of these enemies are natural. And Jesus says we need to honour him by loving our enemies. Pray for those who mistreat you, Jesus said. So we can pray for that driver who catch off. We can pray for that neighbor, for that person who's accused. We can pray for them and we can love them and show them genuine love. So today I want to challenge you. If someone offends you, if someone attacks you, if something doesn't go right, according to you, why don't you try instead of reacting angrily and fighting back, why don't you try loving them? That's what Jesus has called us to. We'll see you tomorrow on Sparks.